last Friday in October, and that means it's time for one last found footage movie. This week we're talking about Wreck, a Spanish found footage movie that's one of the best reviewed of the entire subgenre. Wreck tells the story of a TV documentary crew that is following firefighters while making a show about people who work while everyone is sleeping. They follow the firefighters on what is supposed to be a routine house call, but it ends up being the worst night of their lives. The crew ends up trapped inside an apartment building by an emergency medical team while a zombie-like virus spreads through the residence. The movie starts out very slow, but by the halfway point it starts to escalate until you reach the final scenes where the movie gets really tense. All in all, this movie is one of the best found footage movies I've ever seen. Even though I'm so used to the genre and all of its tropes, and even if I know exactly where the plot is going to go, Rex still ropes me in. The movie got remade into Quarantine, a really crappy version that exists just to make a profit off of the found footage craze of the late 2000s and early 2010s, so I wouldn't recommend watching that one at all. Speaking of the found footage craze, I wanted to talk a little more about found footage in general. Some of you might be surprised that I chose this subgenre to talk about for Monster Madness at all. Despite having so many different found footage movies out there, there's so many bad ones that it's almost impossible to do a series on them. But, even though there are so many stinkers, there are some hidden gems out there. So, what makes found footage work? For me, it's simple. The foundation of a found footage movie is the characters. If the movie's gonna work, the characters have to feel like real people so that we actually feel like the movie is real and we get scared. That's what makes movies like The Blair Witch Project and Wreck work so well. They have really good, believable characters. In Wreck, the characters don't make stupid decisions just to move the plot forward. Instead, they do things that any normal person with some common sense that wanted to survive would do. In The Blair Witch Project, the characters slowly start to panic as they realize they can't escape, and any normal person would do that. So, really, to have a found footage movie, you have to avoid the gimmicks and the tropes, stop coming up with stupid, crazy, drawn-out plots, and instead focus on really good characters. Then, it'll turn out good. I hope you've enjoyed our investigation into found footage. We'll see you tomorrow for another movie.